Hong Kong is pulling out of Taiwan as tensions between both sides rise. It's suspended operations at its representative office on the island. Authorities say the decision is not related to rising COVID-19 cases in Taiwan. Roland Lim reports. The decision for the immediate suspension of Hong Kong's Economic Trade and Cultural Office in Taipei comes from Hong Kong's Constitutional and Mainland Affairs Bureau. Last week, Hong Kong also refused to renew the work permit of eight Taiwan officials working at its de facto consulate here because they refused to sign a document recognizing Taiwan as part of China. Now, officials here are keeping tight-lipped about the reasons for the closure of its economic and trade office, only to say that it's not related to the COVID-19 situation in Taiwan. But we do know that relations between the two cities have soured uh, these past couple of years. Now, Hong Kong doesn't recognize Taiwan diplomatically, and they've been in a long-running dispute to send Hong Kong resident Chan Tong Kai over, suspected of murdering his girlfriend during a 2018 visit to Taiwan, to stand trial there. More recently, with the imposition of the national security law in Hong Kong, Taiwan has criticized the law and opened an office in Taipei to help Hong Kong people who may want to leave. Last August, we also saw 12 people trying to flee Hong Kong by boat to Taiwan. They were all facing charges uh, related to the 2019 anti-government protests. They were then intercepted by the Chinese Coast Guards. What all this means is that it's going to be icy relations on both sides from now on. It also remains to be seen if Hong Kong will continue to serve as an important trade and investment conduit between Taiwan and China. And going forward, both sides will probably end up without official rep offices, leaving just local staff to handle basic functions like uh, issuing tourists and business visas. Now, previously, uh, the Hong Kong office in Taipei would have also handled inquiries uh, from residents in Taiwan, as well as holding business and uh, cultural exchanges. Officials here say that Hong Kong residents who need help in Taiwan should now instead call the government service hotlines or visit its website.